Shooting suspect Shun Li Zhao is back in this San Mateo County courtroom Thursday. For the most part, staying quiet other than to enter his not guilty pleas through a Mandarin interpreter. All of this coming after the tragic shootings in Half Moon Bay that killed seven and injured one on January 23rd. The most deaths in a single incident in San Mateo County, according to the district attorney. Zhao's defense attorney declined to speak on camera, citing a gag order issued by a judge last week. That order keeping the defense prosecution, Zhao, and the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office from making statements or opinions to the public. This order will tamper down on a lot of the media attention on the case, which ultimately will likely keep the case in San Mateo County, because if information continues to come out to the public that may not be admissible in the trial, you could see a change of venue motion filed here and move this case to another county in California. Though the gag order keeps everyone involved in the case from giving opinions to the press and public, they can talk about what happened in open court and give past and future court dates. San Mateo County District Attorney Steve Wagstaff okay. telling us that in general, the not guilty plea is what's expected in a case like this. I have never heard anything but a plea of not guilty in a murder case. It's how the system keeps flowing through. Wagstaff also saying that there's a lot of work for both sides to do leading up to the next court date. The defense still is uh, going through police reports as well as we are awaiting for a variety of reports. So the matter was not set for the next step, which is preliminary hearing yet. Zhao faces seven counts of murder, one count of attempted murder, plus a firearm use enhancement and a special circumstance allegation of multiple murder. That circumstance makes it a capital murder case in which Zhao could be sentenced to death or to life without the possibility of parole. Wagstaff says some of those reports his team still has to go through are the coroner reports. He says those won't be done for several months. So this next court date is to schedule that preliminary hearing. The scheduling date for that is Wednesday, May 3rd. Right now in San Mateo County, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.